and the top will be when we get the ceiling on. We've got one more to do right here. And uh, I've got the face for that already made up, so that should go pretty quick. All right, I thought I'd just do a little tutorial on building this front cabinet. Kind of hard to get square lines off arches, so what I've done is I use these sticks. I know my measurement is 31 and 16th, and uh, now I'm going to scribe this piece that goes in the corner of the cabinet. I've got my pieces all pre-cut. So I've got my shape. I'll take my jigsaw, cut that out, give it a little bit of sanding, and then we'll group glue and staple it on here. And then that'll give me the bottom and the face support of that shelf. Okay, let's sand it up a little bit and go on to the others. So let's go see how this really looks. Always the true test here. Should work. All right, let's get them all to match up with our original piece. We'll get a nice square face with that too. I'll just take the router to it. <clears throat> All right, I got the glue on it, get it into place. Got my clamps. Okay, let's see how our face fits. All right, we got the front shelf in, and um, this is as far as the design I have takes it, but um, we're gonna use this here as a, a place like to stick your cell phones. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a, um, a backer here in the back of that so it's flat, because otherwise, you know, if it's the ceiling, it just kind of rounds down. But I wanna put a little uh, USB socket there. And uh, we also want switches for the recessed lights that we're gonna put in here. So I was thinking it would be good to have buttons underneath here. 
a button here when you open the door it's easy enough to reach in push the button underneath there and maybe when you're laying in bed because there's going to be two sets of lights we'll have the recessed lights on the ceiling and then we're going to have uh, two little reading lights that, that kind of are adjustable to aim where you want the light to go and i'm thinking maybe we'll put the button about the middle and i think laying in bed you should be able to reach up and uh, push those buttons easy enough so i think that's a good place for it so that means a little bit of a backer on that and a backer here uh, so that um, the wires aren't they're not seen so uh, that's what we're going to go on to now all right i got my backing in for my wires and my switches now from this end this looks kind of ugly oh, i'll show you from the other side but i even got my holes drilled now all these holes are drilled extra wide they're wider than the device themselves and that's because you have to actually get the device out so we i got to make a plate that goes over the hole that the device attaches to so we, i could have screwed these in permanently but then if there's ever trouble you'd never be able to get them out so that's basically the backing and here's the cover that uh will screw over the top of that, like that. And uh, these are USB plugs. And the only thing you'll see here, of course, is just the back and a ceiling. But the switch will be down here. So there'll be one there and one there. This will be for the recessed lights. This will be for the reading lights, which will be mounted here and here. All right, so that that kind of is what <laughs> does it for our built-ins. I've got doors that need to go on. I've got two doors for here, and i got the three doors for there. i still got to put an edge on here, but those are... I've already made up the doors. i got to get out of here. And uh, so it's just a matter of putting the wood edge on the plywood doors, hint, put, putting the hinges on. Uh, but no hurry on that. I could do that at any point. I should start also thinking about coating, getting some uh, varnish on this stuff, um, you know, just to keep it clean. We do get leaks in this building, and uh, without the varnish on it, there's a chance of water stains. Um, what else? Well, I guess now the debate is, do I put my sides on? It's really kind of the next step. One thing I, I probably will get to today is I have my rounded ends here to put on. Um, I might just do that right now. Uh, I've got to go to the store, get some materials, start thinking about our uh, roof rafters, our roof supports that go across the top. Oh, and here you see I've got my, the other thing I'm thinking about is my um, electronics. I'm thinking I'm going to put all this here, the uh, solar controller. I think this is a good place. Um, it's kind of out of the way. I don't think this space is really as usable as we want, only because, you know, when you think about how much room is really on this shelf when that door closes against this right here. Um, I don't know if I talked about this, but, uh, I got my, put my, um, transformer or inverter, I guess you call it down there. And I knew it was going to be close, but it just fits with the cover on it. Look at that. See, perfect. That worked out well. The other thing is... I don't know how well you can see in there. The battery box is right there. We just drill a hole in. Um, I'm going to get a, a conduit that will go up right through here, come right up into here. And I'm going to put a chase in here that will have a little access panel too, so that it can come up to here through controllers. And I think I mentioned I'm going to put a chase uh, on the other side under this shelf so that we can get power to the microwave. And we can get a plug-in right here for the uh, cooler. So that's my plan. Let's see how that actually works out when we um, get to it all. But in theory, it sounds like 
feels like it should work real well. Finally getting some rain. You know, in past videos it made it look like a, it had been raining here a lot, but probably those last two times you saw the rain, it was the only time it was raining from you then. Things are so dry. Scary dry. All right, it's about the end of the day. I spent most of today just putting varnish on everything. Uh, not anything you want to see, pretty straightforward. So to end out the day, I was working on the wire chase. I think I was talking about it a little bit. And uh, you can see right in here, see that hole? That's a piece of conduit. So I drilled a hole. Let me just show you over here. And you can see the conduit. I you see the white that's adhesive. Um, I just kind of bent it so that it would go around the pieces of wood that it needed to. So this uh, drawer here opens and closes as it should. You can see with the doesn't touch that. And it comes down into this this box. Was able to drill that hole. So uh, that's that. All right, I think we've got our <clears throat> control box made up here. You see here on this, the wall here, I've got uh, the solar panel controller. And uh, what I did is I got this little panel here that's removable. I got a magnet to put on this side here, but this will be you can just take it off. In actuality, the ceiling will come down to here, so put a hole in the bottom and just pull it out like that. I got my fuse box for the circuits. And we got about six, five circuits there that we can get access to. So this will be fed from here to here. And then the batteries, actually the battery feeds to here and then to there. Um, we've got a hole here. Remember, I've got my panel here made up. So the wires come up through holes here and up through there and down that <coughs> conduit that I just showed you. So now the only other thing I got to do is um, build the chase underneath. But you can see here I also included a receptacle and I got this hole here for uh, the light switch. It'll be just a touch switch there. I think that looks nice and neat. You know, I'll be able to see what's going on with the solar panel. Uh, the wires will come in for the solar panel as well as the circuits will come down through the ceiling. So get that all together before we get the ceiling on. All right, so I've got my chase pretty much together here. I got my layout. Here's a hole that goes to the cooler. Decided to add a uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter plug in here for inside here. Um, so I'm going to have a cover. This is going to be openable from here to here, just about, so you can get in here to. You got to pull down the microwave plug from here. We'll have a plug here for that to go into, and then I'm doing a receptacle that's going to be right here. So I'm in the process of putting that together right now. Let me just show you that. Ah. And what I'm using is some old extension cord. It's actually a good quality extension cord, 14 gauge. Um, this cord I found here, it had been cut from use, but um, I think for our application, it's gonna be perfect. So here's the plug for the where the uh, microwave's gonna go. This will go up to the other plug that's up on the in the galley. And this will be where the receptacle goes. So I'll get this wired up before I put this in. That'll make it a little easier. Okay, I've finished my chase. Got it all together. 
Here's the cover. This is what took me the most time, a stupid cover. You can see I got an end there and I use these little clips. Here's the plug for the microwave. Comes down through there. So you can get access to that if we need to do anything with the refrigerator. And then power here. Simply goes back up like that. Alright. Well, that's it for now on our teardrop build. I do appreciate you all watching and I look forward to seeing you here again.